Please welcome Karen Chen. As soon as I stepped on the ice, like I kind of like came out of my shell and it was something I loved and wanted to do as much as I could. For Karen Chen, the ice is her home. Skating, her passion. The 20 year old has built up quite the resume. She not only competed in the 2018 Olympics, but was a 2017 World Team Bronze Medalist and U.S. Champion. Karen, currently in first place. Though Chen has a lot to be proud of, she remains humble. Just take a look inside her room. You have all these stuffed animals too, and you get a lot of medals from these competitions, mm -hmm. but you don't see a lot of medals here. <laughs> Um, yeah, they're not as, imp I guess they're not cuddly. <laughs> they're just hard, cold metal. <laughs> they don't do anything. This is like QC comfort in the middle of the night. <laughs> like I grew up like watching that happen, like all these like famous skaters, like Michelle Kwan or something. And they're just like so many stuffed animals and flowers thrown onto ice. So it's kind of like, um, living a dream that I had. Now she's chasing a new dream. After the Olympic season ended, Karen set her sights on the Ivy League. It was something that I always wanted to do. Like I knew in the back of my mind, like I'm gonna go to college and I'm gonna have like sort of like a regular life. This past fall, she enrolled at Cornell University and showed that even champions get nervous on the first day. I was really nervous because I think I sagged myself out because I was like, it's gonna be so weird for you because like you've never like, the last time we sat in a classroom was like fifth grade, but um, after the first week, like I felt like I was starting to figure out my schedule and I knew where I was going. While most college students are trying to figure out their first career, Karen's already studying for a second one beyond the final skate. Originally, I was thinking like um, becoming like a sports psychologist, and then I also thought about becoming a physical therapist. I thought that was really interesting. And as she settles into life at school and looks toward the future, Karen works to keep both her nose in the books and feet on the ice. I think it's really important because like skating is basically temporary. Like my body's not going to allow me to keep doing that. Like all that pounding is just like taking a toll on my joints and my body. Um, so I just think it's really important for me to find other interests and something that I'm passionate about um, to follow and pursue. But reaching for the gold in skating and her studies doesn't always come easy, especially when you have the flu. Is it often when like you're sick like this or anything, you just have to power through it and skate? Yeah, it's like it happens a lot because like as an athlete, like we've been told like our mindsets, like we just have to like power through. If something's bothering you, if you feel a little under the weather, you just got to like focus on your goals and just power through. As for if another glimmer of Olympic gold is in her future, I, I want to go. <laughs> I really do. I don't know how uh, or what I would have to sacrifice to get there because I know like because making that first um, making the team at 2018 like involves so many sacrifices. So there's just like so many pros and cons that I have to weigh to figure out like what my goals are and like where what I want to do. But for now, she's enjoying her time on the ice in Ithaca as just another college student. For New York Local Ithaca, I'm Sarah Horbakowitz with Ithaca College.